guess what? We got a manager who's one of the greatest to ever do it joining us right off the bat at Dusty Baker. And I asked Dusty enough questions over there so you guys can talk to Dusty now. Dusty, congrats, man. <laughs> I got I to gotta tell you, man, I'm sitting down right here with the real OG, man. <laughs> I love this guy right here, D. Let me tell you something, man. You came to this organization in the middle of a storm. You have to put up with a lot of things. And the feedback that I get from those players is that they will leave the skin out there for you. How do you feel about that, man? Well, hey, I love them. You know, love neutral. And, you know, you got to love each other because, hey, that's the only way we got, got this far. And it's the only way that we came together. You know what I mean? And uh, that's what it's all about. I mean, you got to love each other, man. You know, and, like, you guys all been there. It's like a special feeling that they can't, that you can't describe, and they'll never take it away from you. Hey, Dusty, first of all, we could not be more proud of you. You're one of our heroes, the three of us, and Kevin, too. You're 72, that great piece with Ken Rosenthal. But I don't think there's a man on the planet that could have come into this situation and done it better than you. What do you think was the key for you to follow with this team the way you did and bring them to back to the World Series? Well, you know, last year I felt like a, uh, like a substitute teacher, really. I was an outsider, but, you know, this year, you know, they made me feel like I was one of them, and uh, they were definitely always one of me, and uh, that, that's what it's all about. Everybody talk teamwork and talk about a team, but it's a feeling that you get for each other. You know, you pull for each other, you go through, you cry, you know, with each other, and see, this is something that that you cannot take away. You can't describe it, and then it never happened in another industry to me other than sports. Because you don't get this in the business world, you don't get this outside. To me, you only get it in church <laughs> or on the on the field. That's right. You know, I want to ask you something. I saw you a few years ago. You were out of manager. We were sitting down in Scottsdale, and I asked you, did you ever want to manage again? You said, I do want to manage again, and I want to win again. So what does a night feel like, Dusty? Because within a few years, man, you're back yeah. on top. This is a beautiful thing for baseball. But you know something like, I miss my dad. And I, and I could feel my dad talking to me up there. I could feel Hank Aaron. I could feel all the greats that, that died recently. Al Kaline, Joe Morgan, you know, all all those dudes, man, were with us. And I and I and I could feel them. And sometimes I'd get in a tight, and I wouldn't really kind of know what to do. And I just looked up, and I could see my dad either smile or frown. And if he frowned, then you about to mess up something. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Dusty, four wins away from a storybook ending, really. Yeah. You've done everything in this game, everything. What do you think about that? Well, there's four more on that board out there. That's what I was looking at every day. You know what I mean? There's four more wins that you got to have on that board out there. And uh, and after that, I mean, let's win. And they don't want to win again. Yes, That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> Dusty, listen. Yeah. Well, you guys did a Fenway. In my mind... We played back in the day, and we know that analytics had nothing I had to do with. It was nothing but hard. How you guys put that together like that, man, in my hometown? Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> you saw him on the back, Dusty. I saw a big puppy on that board up there. <laughs> you know, big puppy, dude, that trap that you got. You know what I'm saying? But I'm jealous. I'm jealous of that hair you got on your face. I told I, you. That. I know you like that. <laughs> hey, Dusty, we talked in the pregame show with Kevin and the boys here that you're the only manager in the history of the game to manage five teams, all five of them in first place. Right. But at 72, Crew Daddy, the G the OG, how does this moment rank in your great career? Well, well, it ranks it ranks at the top for now. You know what I mean? And uh, at 72, like I told you, I think I'm a cool 72. <laughs> <laughs> and, it's, and, it's only, it's, and it's only a number. Yes, sir. And, and that's everybody right. wants to say, oh, you can't do this at this age or this or that. As long as you take care of yourself and you believe and you kind of stay stay tuned to what's up today, you know, you can do it. That's right. And, uh, and uh, the best thing for me is to have a young daughter, 42, and have a young son, 22, because they mm. keep me, they tell me my pants too tight <laughs> or if they're too loose, <laughs> and they keep me up on, on the music. So that way I can I, I can identify with my guy. There you go. All right, man, I got to go. Yeah, you got to get that champagne. I just want to know, after game three, when you're down and out, what did you learn about this pitching staff, man? Well, hey, man, these guys, what I learned is that they'll take the ball. Yes. Because everybody was tired. And they come in every day, who's available and who's not, and then everybody was available.
And this That's is what you like. You know? That is unreal. All right, boy. Oh, no, enjoy, Get that champagne. Enjoy, enjoy it, man. Enjoy, enjoy it. You deserve it, dog. Congratulations. Nothing but for you. Coolness. Cool 72. My dog. Big day. That's a great job, baby. Great job. Congrats. Four more, baby. I know. Dusty's got to go get some champagne. Dusty, congrats to you.